Good morning Pilipinas! Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the new episode of our XL100 series. Sorry, hindi tayo makapaggawa ng mga video na riding kasi medyo bawal pa. So, magtsagaan nyo muna itong mga uh, non-riding uh, content natin. By the way, this is again for the TBS XL100. Now, today I'm going to share to you uh, basic modifications na ginagawa natin sa TBS XL100 changing the tires front and rear to 14 size okay also we will try to change yung handlebar post yung kabitan handlebar so tingnan natin ha kung magawa natin today kasi nag-uulan The inspiration came from a fellow XL100 owner that is Ronan Ramirez. All the specs and ideas were shared by him. I did not include a video disassembling the tires because I let the local mechanics do that for me. Because the labor cost will not change whether I do the disassembly or not, so I might as well let them do the job. Here is the list that you're going to need. Front tire, Fuji motocross tires. 90 by 100 size 14 cost 950 rear tires the same same cost you need two interiors two pieces 150 each front rim is SPD racing size 14 with 1.85 cost is 1150 rear rim is SPD racing size 14 the width size is 2.15 cost is 1350 all of the above were ordered online by a Shopee and Facebook sellers so expect added shipping costs labor cost of conversion to 14 size is 250 pesos per tire I know it's cheaper to other shops the cost of wires for both tires cost less than 500 pesos I can't remember the exact price because I gave a thousand pesos to the mechanic. Things that you're going to encounter on the rear. This lever here is going to hit the rear tire because it's wider now. This lever is the brake stopper and is connected to the rear brake assembly. All you have to do is insert four washers in between the nut. Make sure this nut is tight as it should so the cable plate will not move when you pull the brakes. So, pagkakabit mo yung fender, sasabit yan dito eh, sa gulong. Kasi nga, mataas na yung gulong natin. So, dadagdag ka dito ng brakes. Pag anong, metal plate lang gagawa ko. Ang metal plate, para lang ma-extend like so Ayan. okay Ayan, next to naman dati nandito yan yung tornillo pero since mataas na yung gulong ito sasabit na to sasabit na itong fender dito sa gulong kaya eto dapat nandito sa second lalagay sa pangalawa Another bolt para dito.
Uh, next nating gagawin is we are going to change yung handlebar clamp ng uh, riser na to. Now, nabili ko to sa Lazada. Uh, medyo babawasin mo, no? Kasi ito, when you buy it, merong nakaumbok dyan na gano'n. Nakascrew lang yon, Tatanggalin mo lang yon. Yung screw nun, nandito sa ilalim, dun sa loob. Tanggalin mo lang. Tatanggal yon. So, flat ka lang. Tapos, uh, you need to change yung mga screw. Kasi, maliit ang gagamitin para doon. Yung stock nito is medyo malaki. So, hanap ka lang ng uh, compatible doon sa butas. Okay? Okay. Now, ito medyo sumasagi dito sa body. Dito. So, ang gagawin natin is lalakihan lang natin yung butas ng ito so makakapag adjust tayo pabalik ok manage to fit yung um, riser pero with a cost I will not recommend this guys kasi Unless you get a smaller riser, pwede. Pwede. Uh, ako kasi, binawasan ko pa yung plastic dito para lang mag-fit. So, um, I'm not recommending this riser. Sorry. Uh, kung meron pa mga gamit and you're willing to scrape off some plastic here and there, dito sa uh, panel natin, okay lang. Pero, Yeah, it's not recommended. Pero itutuloy ko to. Kasi may tools naman ako. And uh, andyan na yan. And this is going to... Yeah, this is going to look good. Okay, teka lang ha. Check this out. I think it's worth it. <laughs> Ang hirap lang. Para maganda. Okay. Now, unbox. This is the X5 Matrix series. Siya naman yung mamount natin sa ikot. So, yung stock na nalagyan ng seat ng box doon natin ilalagay yung base plate. Okay.
Start Pilipinas. Tapos din natin ang ating basic modification sa PBSX 100. I hope nakatulong to sa mga balak na mag-modify ng 14 size ng gulong and other modification and stuff. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.